Well, hello everybody. <laughs> I told you guys in my shorts I was going to be doing a new review on this cold steel walking stick. And I'm doing it today because I was looking at the weather and looking outside it almost looked like it's starting to sprinkle. So I better hurry up and do it real quick before it rains as a pour down. But anyway. Uh, and first off, this is my first cold steel walking stick ever. I bought this off of Amazon years ago. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for it. It was like less than what the cold steel tension I bought was. So probably in the $38 range, but ain't that bad. And I wrote down the specs just like Cowboy C. Bob. Shout out to you, by the way. Um, and uh, because he always writes down information about the nice he reviews on paper, so I'm doing the same thing today. Hope you don't mind. But anyway, uh, overall length on this thing from here to the tip is... 38 and a half inches so that's more shorter than my tension is and the head of the cane the thickness of it is like two and one thirds inches thick you could definitely crush somebody's skull with that probably but anyway I don't highly recommend that but anyway shaft is measured to be at least one and one half to a one inch thick it kind of does look like that but because I think the uh tension that I reviewed was a tad bit like it looks thinner but it's made out of that same polyure and uh, 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 what was it called polypropylene material but the way it's designed to look like a bulk and that one would look thinner but it's thick in some areas and then this one's all thicker than that the weight and if you guys know what I mean but anyway the weight of this thing is 26 and one ounce that's extremely lighter than the tension, but this one is a tad bit shorter for me, I think. But uh, and it's also ambidextric, so or excuse me, ambidextric, meaning you can use it with your left or with your right. Okay, and I'm not kidding. The model number is nine one walk. How simple can that be? But anyway, <laughs> uh. All right, I'm gonna stand back and show you. I'm six foot six, and this thing is like uh, what did I say, thirty some inches long, thirty eight and a half inches long. I can feel like I can make this work, but it feels like I might need a few more inches just to be like up to here at least. That cold steel tension will work perfect. But so if you guys are taller than me, I wouldn't recommend this for you. Like if you're like six eight or whatever, this is too small. But for someone that's below me, like six, four, two, three, I mean, probably perfect for you guys. And plus, uh, you can remove this tip, and it's already got some notches right here. I don't know if you see that. Not just for you to cut it down to your size anyway. But I ain't doing it. Anyway, and I love the fact that they etched in the name, Walk. I don't know if you can see it on my camera, but Walkabout right here on the stick. I mean, that looks incredibly awesome <laughs> all right I think I'm gonna move you guys over to a certain tree and I'm gonna whack the tree with this just to show you how tough this thing is so hold on okay <laughs> I'm over by this tree right here imagine you just want to scare somebody with this thing and they like owe you some money or something I ain't playing punk. Where's my money? And then if they don't give it to you, I bet you this probably could break somebody's knee. But I don't recommend lethal force like that. But anyway, so I'm going to use the head of the cane first and show you. You heard that whack? Let's do it again. And it's pretty taking it. Oh, it's almost like swinging a big size billy club. And look, no damage. <laughs> no damage at all. It's got some tree bark on it, but I could clean that off anyway. But now let's try it again with, with this is probably do less damage. But hold on tight like you're swinging a baseball bat. Let's go. Nothing. 
but when you swing it that way, it, you might get some shock going right through there because I felt some, uh, when I was swinging, I felt some shock vibrate right through here. Uh, I don't know who wears gloves with canes anymore, but if you do, <laughs> make sure they're shock absorbent. Just saying. All right. All right, let's try something a little bit bigger than that. I'm going to move back over to this big tree over here. Hold on. All right. Say you came across somebody that's a lot bigger than you. You can use enough force with this thing, you probably can knock them out for sure. Be like, oh, you so you think you're a tough guy, huh? Hmm? We'll take this. Ooh. You heard that? You probably hit this at Bigfoot's head, he'll be screaming forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hit it about right up in there. But I thought I broke it at first, but when I looked at it, I said, nope. Something to clean off, but anyway. Same thing, you want to hit a Bigfoot or something in the noggin? Be like this. Oh, take that, you son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> That's a little force, but here. Here's high. And plus, if you're um, any Bigfoot enthusiast like I am, this is probably good as a Bigfoot knocker <laughs> on a tree. And then you probably get some response back, but anyway. So my final thoughts are, would I recommend you buying this for your cold steel cane collection or just if you're a cold steel attic or just walk of sticks in general? Yes. Okay. And this is proven to be built strong enough to withstand heavy blows, but I don't think a skull would be that thick, but anyway, <laughs> or any bones, but um, yes, used mainly for self-defense only. Or you can use it as a walking cane as well. But you could get these on either the Cold Steel website or you could get them on the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I already looked them up. And um, I think they're selling for like 36 but don't quote me on that. But anyway, I forgot to write it down. And you could probably get these anywhere else too. You just search Cold Steel Walkabout Stick. Boom, they got a whole line of retailers selling these things. And like I said, yes, I would recommend this. I, I, I mean, imagine you throw this thing at a Bigfoot and <laughs> with all your might, just like a billy club. Bam! <laughs> it's almost like throwing stones at Goliath. But anyway, that's a lot of crazy nonsense. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And this has been another successful installment of the Tin Man Collections channel. I'm Jeffrey the Tin Man Taylor. Sayonara. But really. <laughs> You think Bigfoot would be screaming if you hit him with this hard? <laughs> I know he probably would. That's all. Bye-bye.